Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Glim Spanky last single, Story no Sakini. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is simply my opinion on the single and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. So back in November of last year, Glim Spanky came back with their fifth single, Story no Sakini. And as a fan, I was really looking forward to this one because this is the first single that came out after the release of their last album, Looking for the Magic. And I did listen to this one a lot since uh, November, but I took a break from the channel for a little bit and I was like, you know what, this is the right time to talk about it because I really want to talk about it. So right off the bat, um, this single is amazing. Truly fantastic. Uh, once again, these guys, they're just killing it. The main song, Story no Sakini, is a ballad and most definitely becoming one of my favorite ones from them. It's just so intense and very painful at the same time. I don't know how to describe the atmosphere, but it, I feel sad when I listen to it. And also the music video, I don't usually talk about the music videos, but this one is really cool. So I recommend watching it. And also the gift that we get with this new single is that when it came out, digitally you get the instrumentals of the song, which is the first from them. And honestly, like I love Remy, I love her voice, I love her lyrics. But just listening to the melodies, and especially the one for Story no Sakini, I was blown away by their talent. Uh, they co-wrote this one, and honestly, it's so good. It's so intense and melancholic, and especially the piano parts I find to be beautiful. Like, without the piano, it wouldn't feel the same way. The second song is called Breaking Down Blues and just like its title indicates, it's a song heavily inspired by blues. And it's so good, it's so good. I don't have as much to say about this one as Story no Sakini, but I really like it. I just love how it feels like a Glim Spanky song. Like, more like before Looking for the Magic came out, I feel like it fits better with their previous work. And honestly, it's just, it's addictive, it's so dynamic, and it's really, it's really amazing. And once again, both um, artists collaborated on the writing of this song. And I like the fact that they're both more and more involved. I mean, it used to be only Remy. Uh, we used to compose songs, but now Hiroki is also getting more and more involved. And they're both so talented, honestly. Finally, the third song of this single is Tiny Bird. It is a very soft ballad that kind of feels like a 360 turn from the other two songs. And this one was actually the first song of this single released um, a few months prior. I think it was September and it was released like two months before. And this one doesn't feel as intense and for me, it fits more with the mood from Looking for the Magic, which was all about having more of a chill time, still psychedelic, but not as rock heavy as their previous albums. And I feel like this song really continues this path they took. But yeah, I wouldn't. If it was released on the album before, I would have accepted it. It would be like, it makes sense. But as part of the single, like, it's a good ballad, but it feels a bit off for me. But anyway, still, still really good. So overall, I mean, I'm sure you guessed it, I really like this single. No surprises here, I mean, I've been a fan now for now, seven years of this band. I'm not even waiting for them to disappoint me, because I know they never will. And they keep on slaying with this new single, and that is why I gave it five stars. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to tell me what you think of this single down below and I'll see you next time.